Shalom. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham Rakakwadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who taught me this truth, double citations to all you Akim out the laboring, the house of David, the elect, that's pushing this word with all truth, righteousness, and sincerity. Shalom to you, brothers. Shalom to the elect. I'm back at you with another quick lesson through the Holy Spirit, the Rakak Kodash. And this should be very concerning, you know. This is from the New York Post. The title it reads, it says, Fewer teens than ever identify as heterosexual. CDC report, all right? This is a weird fucking place, you know? And every day in this society, it continues to wax worse and worse. The Lord, Yahweh Shemewashah, has given this place over to destruction and the people in it with reprobate minds. Okay? There's absolutely no wisdom that dwells here in America. All right? This place is done. All right? Fewer teens than ever identify as heterosexual. Okay? Let me get this real quick. All right? This is Second Peter. This is 2 Peter chapter 2, verse 5. It says, And spare not the old world, but save Noah the eighth person, a preacher of righteousness, bringing in the flood upon the world of the ungodly, and turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes, condemned them with an overthrow, making them an example unto those that, that after should live ungodly. So Sodom and Gomorrah was made that example. All right? Fire and brimstone. All right? And, and Babylon, America is going the same route which is going to be by those uh, nuclear missiles, right? Fire is reserved for this place. It says, And deliver just lot vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked. For that righteous man dwelling among them, which would be the hopeful elect today, right? In that same position as Lot. For that righteous man dwelling among them, and seeing and hearing, all right? And seeing and hearing, right? Same thing to this very day, man. Right, it's all over your TVs and the music videos, it's on the radio. Right? Now it's to the point where, you know, these alphabeticals are trying to force their doctrine, their ideolo ideology, right, down your throat. You know? They're forcing you to accept this madness. So every day we're vexed in the spirit, seeing and hearing, right? With this madness, man. And seeing and hearing vex his righteous soul from day to day with their unlawful deeds. The Lord, Yahweh Shemawashai, knoweth how to deliver the godly out of temptations and to reserve the unjust unto the day of judgment to be punished. All right. So that's what's coming. All right. So let's read on. <clears throat> All right. It says one in four, one in four high school students identify as moles, buys, or is currently questioning their sexuality according to new data, all right? That's confusion, right? These teenagers are questioning their genders and sexuality, total confusion, right? And this is why, as we said, this is why these, uh, uh, you know, these teenagers are, are committing suicide, they're, they're mentally deranged and destroyed. And the reason why is because they, they took in the poison from the serpent. They have been indoctrinated by the devil, right? And it all goes back to to those that's running the uh, that's running this country. You know the leadership, because America is one giant failure. You know, it says the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention annual report of seventeen thousand two hundred and thirty two students found that in twenty twenty one, about three quarters of the teens of teens between the ages of fourteen and eighteen claimed to be attracted only to the opposite sex. It says, of the remaining respondents, nearly 12% consider themselves bi. Just over 3% would either moles or marked as quote-unquote as other, <clears throat> which can include those who identify as pansexual or asexual or question their sexuality, right? And that's been the argument as of lately, you know, the controversy. Here it is. You know, Babylon, America is on the brink of World War Three. 
all right? Famines and plagues, you know, uh, uh, civil unrest. And the, the, the leadership, you know, they're talking about, you know, sex changes, you know, it's changing, changing genders, right? That's the, hey, that's that reprobate spirit that the Lord has put on this place, man. You know, it says the latest figures marked a record number of youngsters who do not identify as straight, approximately one in four students, man. So you get the point. This is nothing but madness, man, confusion. And it's just waxing worse and worse into that time of judgment. You see? But it all goes back, you know, to uh, wisdom no longer dwelling in this place, right? Wisdom never lived here. <laughs> Jeremiah chapter 49 and verse 7, it says, concerning Edom, right? Prophecy against Edom. Jeremiah 49 and 7, concerning Edom, thus saith the Lord, Yehovah Shema Shav hosts, is wisdom no more in teeming? Is counsel perished from the prudent? Is their wisdom vanished? All right? Wisdom has vanished from America, man. All right? Let's get this in the NLT. Same verse, Jeremiah 49 and 7. In the NLT, it says, This message was given concerning Edom. This is what the Lord, Yahweh Shema Shah of Heaven's army says. Is there no wisdom in Teman? Is no one left to give wise counsel? See, going back to those that are in power. There's no wisdom. There's no wise counsel coming out of this place. And this is why these people are bugged the hell out. Right? This is from Newsweek. Just reading the headline here. It says nearly 40%, which uh, I did an article where it said over 60%. Right? But it says nearly 40% of U.S. Generation Z's 30% of young Christians identify as alphabeticals, right? It's a wrap. You see? And the scripture said that we will be ruled over real quick. The scripture said we'll be ruled over or these Edomites, you know, would be uh, uh, regarded as children of fools, man. Real quick. Jeremiah 30 and 8 says they were children of fools, yea, children of base men. Speaking about you Edomites. They were viler than the earth, right? Because these Edomites are in the forefront. They're the ones that's, that's pushing, you know, the confusion. You know, that's bugging these people out. It's, it's you Edomites, children of fools, all right? Children of base men. They were viler than the earth, you know? And that's why this, this place is cursed for damnation. Let's make that point too. This is uh, the book of Job, chapter 5, verse 3, real quick. All right, Job 5 and 3, and it reads, it says, I have seen the foolish taking root, but suddenly I cursed his habitation. And, and this place is cursed for, for judgment, man. All right? This last generation we're living in is doomed. <laughs> right? But it all goes back to those that's, 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 that's in the power seat. Right? Has wisdom from team and perished, right? This is Isaiah 19 and 11, all right? And it reads, it says, Surely the princes of Zoan are fools, all right? The princes of Zoan, when you look it up, it goes back to the counselors of Pharaoh, all right? Those that were close to him, the wise men of Pharaoh, right? It says, Surely the princes of Zoan are fools. The counsel of the wise counselors of Pharaoh is become brutish. How say ye unto Pharaoh, I am the son of the wise, the son of ancient kings? Where are they? Where are the wise men? And let them tell thee now, and let them know what the Lord, Yehovah Shem Yahweh hosts, has proposed upon Egypt, all right? Spiritual Egypt, which is America, right? The princes of Zoan are become fools. The princes of Naf are deceived. They have also seduced Egypt. Even they that are, even they... That are, that are the stay of the tribes thereof. The Lord, Yahweh Shem Shah, have mingled a perverse spirit in the midst thereof, and they have caused Egypt to err in every work thereof, as a drunken man staggereth in his vomit. You see that? And, and the Lord has mingled, you know, a perverse spirit in the midst of spiritual Egypt, right? And this is why these people are gone, Okay? This, this, is the, this is the type of people that you see today. All right? Weirdos and bug outs, man. And why? Because 
wisdom has perished out of this land. Right? I want to make a point from the commentary. Let me pull that up. Just dealing with Isaiah 19 and 11. All right, about the princes of Zoan are fools. The wise counsels, counselors of Pharaoh are, are, are stupid, pretty much. Like I said, this is a, it's a stupid fucking place, man. And they got to go. Right? I just want to read a point here. It says, um, it says, their chief counselors of the tribes of the provinces, which he calls by a title borrowed from the Hebrews, whose language he spake and wrote this prophecy. The Lord have mingled, have poured out or given them to drink a perverse spirit, a spirit of error or delusion, as the LXX childy render it. That is, he has suffered them in punishment of their sins to take foolish steps and follow pernicious counsels. You see that? So the, the push... That it's okay, you know, to be a mo and a transformer and all this madness. That's that's a, a pernicious counsel, which is a counsel of destruction, death, right? And that's what that's what's been uh, uh, sanctioned upon Babylon. You know, the ultimately judgment. You know, let's read some more. Is there any more? It says they have caused Egypt to err in every work. And in all their designs and undertakings, they have given such ill counsel and pursue such wrong measures that nothing has nothing has succeeded as it should. You see that? That's why America is failing. Right. Because of this, you know, uh, uh, unwise counsel. All right. The, the, the foolish rulers. Right. That's why nothing is 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 uh, is, is slakia. That's why nothing is. Uh, Succeeding here in America. That's why this place is literally corroding from the inside out. It's breaking down on all levels, right? The uh, the morality, the economics, you know, all that, the religious aspect of it. This place is literally being broken down, all right? The city of confusion, as it tells you in Isaiah 24, the city of confusion is broken down. So this is why this is happening. Because of things like this getting pushed, that spirit of error. All right, here's another point. All right, this is from the westernjournal.com. It says people now choosing to identify as handicapped. <laughs> Some even want limbs amputated. You see that? This is a reprobate spirit. This is a spirit of error, man. All right? People identifying as handicapped. Some even want limbs amputated. This place is finished. Right? It says modern leftism never seeks to amaze me just when you think the left has gone crazy as it can go. It always finds a way to become crazier. But now we are all familiar with the leftist fad of transformism, which contends that a man can become a woman and vice versa through a perverse medical procedure that involves mutilating their body. But the left has taken th this trans craze to a whole new level, which is every bit as disturbing. You see that? It says, according to Fox News, there is a new fad called trans. Transableism finished. Transableism, which perfectly healthy people are choosing to identify as handicapped in order to apparently feel more at home in their bodies, right? So these people are 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 gone. All right, mentally finished, as we were reading. The Lord has given these people over to that spirit of error, like a drunken man that staggereth in his own vomit, right? This is the book of uh, Job chapter 10 and verse 21. It says, before I go, whence I should not return, even to the land of darkness and the shadow of death, a land of darkness as darkness itself and the shadow of death without any order and where light is as darkness. And, that, and that's this place, America, man. Okay, a land of darkness, right? You can't make this up, you know? Not, I'm not going to read it. The title is enough, man. This is where we at. Okay? This is from the uh, WLT report. It says, FDA green lights first orally administrative, administered medication made, up, made from human feces. Right? Where the hell are we at? Okay? First orally administered medication made from human feces, man. 
Like the brother said, these damn these devils are losing their damn minds, man. This is why we got to get the hell out of Babylon. All right? We got to get the hell out of Dodge, man. All right? It says, uh, so you got medicine made from human feces, man, that they're trying to um, put on the market. And it's supposed to help with, uh, you know, uh, um, I guess erectile dysfunctions or some shit. You know, just madness, man. I just wanted to show this just to show you where we at. As I said, society is waxing worse and worse for its inev inevitable destruction. All right. As I said, a Babylon America is a complete failure, man. Right. And is about to be destroyed. All right. Let's just make that point, man. And we'll wrap it. You know. All right, this is, uh, man, Isaiah 24. Isaiah 24 and 4 says, The earth mourneth and fadeth away, the world languish and fadeth away, the haughty people of the earth do languish. All right, everything about this, everything about the world on this side is fading away. All right, it says, The earth also is defiled under the inhabitants thereof, because they have transgressed the laws, changed the ordinance, broken the everlasting covenant. See? And that's going back to the rulers, those that are in power. They've turned everything upside down. They have defiled the earth, right? Changed the laws, changed the ordinance, and broken the everlasting covenant. Therefore, have the curse devoured the earth, which is going to be those nuclear missiles. And they that dwell in are and they that dwell in are desolate. Therefore, the inhabitants of the earth are burned, and few men left. Right. So the only thing left is for Yahweh Shimawashai to bring forth. Judgment, man. That's pretty much it. You know, what else can we, uh, what more can we really say, man? You see? Let's wrap it up with this, Second Ezra, chapter 15, and that'd be it, man. Straight to the point, Second Ezra, chapter 15. You know, every day is, you know, draws close to, to, to destruction, man. You know? So be it. All right. Second uh, Ezra chapter 15 and verse five and six. And it reads, it says, behold, say of the Lord, Yahweh Shemeshai will bring plagues upon the world, the sore famine, death and destruction for wickedness has exceedingly polluted the whole earth. And therefore, their herfer works are fulfilled. All right. So now, now that that point of their herfer works being fulfilled, now the Lord is about to enact judgment. All right. Simply put. But yeah, man, I pray that this lesson was edifying, man. All right, this place is out of there. Giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, by Shem Kakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And double salutations to all you Akim out there laboring. Shalom.